Okay, so the next step is to reduce to an image. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and take that starter snippet and bring it in. And so we have this image collection, right? We have 31 images in this uh, collection. And we want to reduce that to a single image. And so to do that, um, we have our desired output and we have this input, and then we need to call some methods of the image collection to, to basically kind of flatten it in a way. Take the, take the deck of cards and get a single uh, card out of it that somehow summarizes the values of all of the individual cards. So to do that, there's a couple of ways. I'm going to show you the kind of the longer way first, and we can basically use a reducer. Um, so I'm going to go to the image collection, and then there's going to be this method called reduce um, right here. And reduce is going to apply a reducer across all the images in a collection. Um, and so it takes as an argument a reducer. And so the reducers are another object. And so I'm going to go to EE reducer. And you can see that there's a lot here. Um, and we're going to take the mean reducer, but there's median, there's min, there's max, there's mode, there's all sorts of things. Um, but I'm going to take the EE um, reducer mean. So I'm going to throw into this reducer, um, in this reduce method, I'm going to throw EE reducer mean as the argument. And that should be about all I need to do. So if I click run here, it shouldn't um, get mad at me. And uh, but it's not going to give us any results because we haven't actually asked to look at anything yet. So I'm going to go ahead and just shorten this up by commenting out the the step one, and I'm just going to compare the result here to step three. So I'm going to say please print, and this is going to be my step four checks, and then I'm going to put a comma after that so they can pass another argument to the print. And I'm going to say, give me a view of step four. And uh, wink at it at the end and hit return or hit run. So what you should see here is what we got when we printed out step three was an image collection. And what we get when we print out step four is an image. So we've gone from the deck of cards to a single card and it still has a single band, um, LSD day one kilometer, and then it's um, thrown on this mean um, tag to it um, because we've done this mean reducer to it. Um, so let me show you a, a slightly different way. This is such a bread and butter mood uh, move to uh, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully being mean is not a bread and butter mood, but it's a uh, but the mean reducer is so bread and butter to working with image collections that there's um, they've kind of provided a shortcut. So if I say um, var step for kind of B for like plan B is going to be take the image collection and then just basically apply this um, mean method to it. You can and just it doesn't take any arguments. It's going to reduce as an image by calculating the mean of all values in each pixel across the stack of all matching bands. Bands are matched by name. Um, and so if I wink at that and then say step for B and hit run, what we should get here is basically another version and uh, the kind of the main difference here is that the name of our band isn't updated. So this thing should still calculate the, the mean um, for each pixel in this, uh, in this band. It just hasn't changed the name. So to get these things to both, um, so one thing is that if you use this mean method, it can be helpful to um, follow it with a rename. So rename is a method of images where if we go to it um, here, it's basically renames the bands of an image. Um, it returns the named image. 
their arguments, the new names of the bands must match the number of bands in the image. So if I said um, LST uh, day mean and hit run, it should take that. And now when we look at the bands, we have LST day one kilometer mean, and now we've renamed it LST day mean. I think if I threw this in a list, it would also work. I think because we have one band, it's okay for it not to be a list. But if we were trying to rename more than one band, then um, it would need to, need to be a list. And what I'm going to do here is um, uh, after I've done the reduce here, I'm going to say, let's rename this to LST day mean and hit run and I'm doing that because I'll tell you I'll show you in a second but okay so now we've renamed both the bands um, didn't necessarily need to do it because this one kept track but this is just kind of helping remind you that the result here is actually the mean LSD day temperature it doesn't it's no longer really um, just the LSD it's, it's, is that is that fair like this no longer really represents the daily um, land surface temperature in a one kilometer pixel. It, re it represents the mean of the uh, of the daily. And you might even change that to make a better description, but that's where I am for right now. And then here's the kind of the next thing is um, I'd like you to call the check module that we did here to get a number. Um, and so, here, what I'm going to do is say in my print check, and then for this tutorial, it's TO2. Um, and then I takes a single argument, which is going to be the image that I want it to check. And if I hit run here, what I should get is a value. And if you've typed this in correctly, check point TO2 step four, you should get this 13,611.5 value. Because um, what that's doing is that it's calling on a method that I've written here. And that method or that function is basically, um, it's like using the inspector on a pixel. So I've, I've defined a location. Um, I can't remember. I think for this one, it might actually be like, the, it's either by hall or the organic garden, um, the farm. But anyway, um, I've defined a point in the world that I want it to kind of grab the number as a way of checking that my computation um, is kind of what I would expect. Or so I'm going to use these in the in the class, these like checkpoints basically, for you to kind of throw your image into this check to get a number so that that you know that number I can compare to the number that I calculated to see if you're on the right track. Um, it's also helpful for being able to kind of compare two alternative ways of doing something to see if you get the same result. Like there's always more than one way to skin a skin a cat. Um, all of them are painful, but they uh, but there's more than one way. So if I wanted to check the TO2 step four B and hit return run, I should get the same number. Um, and what that's doing is it's just, um, it's basically sampling the image at a point and retrieving that number. Um, and that's a way of kind of, for me, checking my own work, but also to be able to check your work versus um, what I think is the, in, in quotes, like the correct answer. And so uh, the last thing is to show you why I did this part. Um, and so if I... Um, I'm going to use the slash uh, star uh, star slash um, method here to just kind of comment out everything in between there. So that's kind of fancy. I'm not sure I showed you the slash star um, way of, uh, of, of doing comments that are in line. And if that's too confusing, you can also just... Um, get rid of those for a second and then just hit a return here get the uh, semicolon and then just hit, hit sit this line 
and line commented out. So I'm no longer renaming it. And if I hit run, um, it's going to fault here. And because LST day mean does not match patterns. So the way that I've defined this um, function here, the step four, is that it's looking for this um, band, a band called LST day mean. And if your image does not have a band named LST um, day mean, it's not going to uh, work. And so it's very literal because this is LST day one kilometer mean and the mean is a lowercase, but for a lot of reasons, this string, this pattern does not match what it's looking for. Is that fair? So in the IP, if I tell you what name the band in the reduce image collection should have, I'm asking you to rename it that band name so that when you run this check, it will run. And if you get that error, it's because you don't have your band name correctly. Um, is that fair? So yeah, feel free to ask us questions before you take the checkup um, to make sure you're clear on all of this. And there's, uh, but, but that's some, some stuff there. And so hit save, like you vote, and then 